hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be filming my perfume collection and I have more perfume than a person should need like there's people who just wear one perfume that's it and there's those people that have a crap ton of perfume I fall in that second category <laughs> and I'll let you know at the end of this video, but I'll either have this filmed in two different locations or this will be part one and then the other one will be part two because this is what I have at my house. I also have stuff in my dorm room. So I'll let you know at the end of the video if this is going to be part one of two or if this is just going to be filmed in two locations. So first I'm going to start off with the brand Body Ecology. I have three things from them. Um, one thing I have is this little this little lotion and it's the scent XOXO and the notes on the back are a sweet blend of raspberries, lemon sorbet, and musk captures your heart and flirts with your senses. So that's what it says that this is. So Raspberries, lemon sorbet, and musk, which I definitely I can yeah, I can smell all those. Um, so that's XOXO Body Ecology. I think this is I know you can get this at Walmart, but I don't know if this was a limited one like for Valentine's Day or something. So first one I have is XOXO. And the second one I have is I have the lotion and the body spray. This came in a little set. Um, so it's Enchanted Forest. And this one says the alluring hypnotic blend of jasmine, nutmeg, and musk will enchant your senses. Mmm. Like I smell something, but to me it doesn't exactly smell like nutmeg because I don't like nutmeg but I like this so so there's that again you can get these at Walmart so so the next perfume I have came from Rue 21 and I have my bottle that's almost empty and then I have a brand new one um this is the perfume pink ice and I'm going to pull up the notes if I can find them. Um, this is, I think, this is probably my favorite perfume. So it has floral notes, fruity notes, and sweet notes which I definitely agree with it's not like a it's a very like girly scented perfume like it's very fruity it's, to me the floral is kind of like low-key because I don't really like a lot of floral scents but it's like a really Sweet, and I think like the sweetness and fruitiness of it kind of offsets a little bit of the floral scent. But yeah, this is probably my f this one. Yeah, this one's my favorite. So, and I don't know how much the Body Ecology ones are, but this one's ten dollars at Rue Twenty One. I think this is the only size available, but I don't know that for sure because I haven't looked on their website to find out if you can get it in a different size. But this is a let's see. 1.7 ounces or 50 milliliters so there's that and the next thing I have is Bath and Body Works now I literally have a crap ton of Bath and Body Works in front of me and this is just part of it so I'm gonna start off with I still have hand sanitizer in the old packaging I still have I still have hand sanitizer in the old packaging, so I'm just going to run through the scents I have. Um, I have Raspberry Lemonade, which it smells exactly like what it's called. I have Caribbean Escape, 
which just smells like, which to me smells like coconut and some other kind of fruit. Like it's like a coconut and like a light flower scent. And they have Paris Amour. But this one doesn't really smell like much. This one really smells kind of like alcoholy, like antibacterial kind of alcoholy. So and then I have Meyer lemon, which literally just smells like a lemon. Like it smells like somebody just squeezed a lemon. Um And then I have Island Nectar. Which kind of smells like a fruity, kind of flowery, but not like overly flowery. Then I have Pink Peony, a Raspberry Pink Peony, which to me really just smells like raspberries. It doesn't really smell much like flowers to me. And then I have more vanilla sugar, which just smells like vanilla. Um, then I have vanilla cupcake. <laughs> you can never have too many vanilla. Which smells like the warm vanilla sugar, but sweeter. And then I have orange creamsicle swirl. Which, if you ever had like an orange creamsicle, that's exactly what this smells like. Just like an orange creamsicle. Um, and then I have three travel size perfumes. And, and so the top notes of this one, I have Beautiful Day. Which, it's kind of a fruity, it's like fruity and like manly at the same time. Like, like, you smell the fruit first, but then it's also not, like, girly fruity. Like, it is, but it isn't. So it's, like, one of those, like, so the top notes are apple, pear, black currant, and the middle notes are lily of the valley. Chamomile, pink peony, and the base notes are white peach and white wood, which I feel like that's where I get like the kind of like, it's kind of like a woodsy, like it's like a fruity woodsy kind of scent. Um, and then I have pink chiffon. Which the top notes are orange or mandarin orange, white peach, or just peach, mandarin orange, peach, pear, and mixed berries, and then the middle notes are jasmine. Tiare, tiare flower, apple blossom, and water lily, and then the base notes are musk, sandalwood, heliotrope, coconut, orchid, and vanilla and it is very like it's like fruit again it's like one of those fruity kind of must like it's like a mix between like a fruity and a not fruity like it's like you like at first to me it smells kind of like fruity and then it goes kind of vanilla a little bit to me and that's just my personal opinion 
And then the last one I have Apparently this one has been discontinued because I couldn't find out on the perfume website I was just looking on. And like when I searched it, it's showing me stuff on Amazon. Okay, so the top notes of Pure Paradise are fresh starfruit, juicy guava, dewy cassius, heart, luscious gard gardena. Frangi Pani and Water Lily. And the base notes are White Musk, Blonde Woods, and Sun Kiss Coconut, which I definitely like smell like the the fruity kind of floral and then it has like that must undertone. So this one I really like, so Let's see. And then I have two travel, and then I have three travel sized like lotion and one shower gel. Um, the one I have, the one I have is watermelon lemonade, and it is my. This is probably my favorite Bath and Body Works scent. Like I love the watermelon lemonade because I have. Those watermelon lemonade, then I have the hand cream of watermelon lemonade, but that's in my dorm room, and then I have the wax melt of watermelon lemonade because it is my favorite. Let's see. And fruit kiss. Um, and the top notes are strawberry, apple, guava, and kiwi. The middle notes are hibiscus, papaya flower, Pineapple and Stratzilia. Strat Don't know. Uh, and the base no the the base notes. The base notes are sea salt, sea notes, musk, and macadamia. And to me, it smells more fruity than anything. To me, it smells like some kind of candy, like a mix between like. A red and pink Jelly Rancher. So like the cherry and the watermelon kind of mixed. To me that's what this smells like. You know, it's definitely, like that's how, that's what I smell is the watermelon Jelly Rancher and the cherry Jelly Rancher mixed together. And next I have a perfume I'm probably not going to be able to find because it's been discontinued. I'm 99% sure. So I finally <laughs> found the notes for this perfume and I'm almost out of it and this is no longer available so I'm going to find something else I like that's similar. Um, the top notes are blackberry, red currant, and clementine. The mid notes are pink jasmine, creamy iris, and sugary nutmeg. And the dried oats. <sighs> Oh boy. The giant notes are cashmere woods, wet vanilla, and soft musk. Which, when I got this, it was because they asked like what kind of perfume I liked, and I said I liked pink ice. And it's from I saw my like pink ice from Rue Twenty One, and they were like, "Oh, you might like this." It's kind of similar, but I still like pink ice more and then one time I told them that I liked this one and they said try the lush pink one they had so maybe that's similar to pink ice and it may be similar to this but I've never done like a smell test between the two so there's this so if you want to try this one the what they recommended to me was lush pink but I don't know if that one's even available anymore because I know it was one of their summery ones so if you want something like this, I would just tell them that you like the perfume they used to have, Sugarberry Smash. Um, and it's really hard to find the notes. I found them on a website called, on a blog called We Love Bath and Body Works. And they give you information on a whole bunch of scents. So, and this is from 
This is a post from 2013, so that's where you can find this. So if you want, some, if you want to look at the notes and try to find something similar, then I mean, I don't really know because they don't have that one anymore. Next one I have is the Twisted Peppermint Lotion. Um, I think it literally just smells like when you open it. It just, to me, it just smells like you just get a very strong smell of peppermint. Um, and the top note is peppermint. The, the mid notes, or this time we call it heart notes, are mint and white sugar. And then the base notes are vanilla, musk, and balsam, which. I don't really get the balsam, but the mint, I mean, you can't, if you didn't smell mint, then this would definitely not be a very successful for, for the perfume, lotion, anything like that. So the next lotion I have is Maui Hibiscus Peach, and I looked all over the internet to try and find like more specific notes, but all I have is what's on the back. And it says it is a native island blend of refreshing starfruit, tropical hibiscus, and sparkling mandarin with waves of watery melon and mango wood. Um, again, this is another discontinued one. That's why I couldn't find the notes. It smells like a mix of like fruit and the fruit stronger. And there's a slight hint of like suntan lotion kind of smell. So if you're looking for something like that, I don't know exactly a scent that's similar, but again, if if there is a scent you like that is discontinued, if you go into Bath & Body Works and you tell them that you liked the scent, like if you tell them you like Maui Hibiscus Beach, they will recommend things to you that are similar, because that's what they did for me with the Sugar Berry Smash and the Lush Pink. Um, so if you want something, this one's called, if you want something like this, it's really fruity and a little bit of suntan lotion scent and you know it's I mean it's a very summery kind of lotion but just tell them if you're looking for something like this Maui Hibiscus Beach and then they can give you suggestions for similar things or if they don't know what it smells like they could they should be able to try and find something like they should somebody in the store probably can give you an idea of something that's maybe similar or if you have your own ideas I mean you can always you, if you do have an idea of something that's similar to this leave them down in the comments so that way if somebody did have this and loved it or wants to try this and they want to find something similar they can and that goes for any of these if there's something that you know that smells similar then definitely leave it down below so that way other people can use those or if there's a scent that I like that maybe could be discontinued at some point then and we can find it. So the next one I have is probably one of my other favorites and it is warm vanilla sugar and I have the perfume which I'm almost out of but this is one of the signature ones so I'm not really worried about it being discontinued or anything and then I have this lotion but I think I still have it in the old bottle and yeah I still have this in the old bottle but I have the warm vanilla sugar and the um, top notes are obviously vanilla and white orchid the mid note the mid notes are vanilla tonka and sparkling sugar, fresh coconut, and fresh jasmine. And then the dry notes are the warm vanilla bean, cocoa bean, and creamy sandalwood. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, it's a vanilla perfume. So if you don't like really like the smell of vanilla, then you're probably not going to like that. So the final one I have is 
Merry Berry Christmas, and I have all of these, plus I have the shower gel, but it's in my shower, so. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, the top notes are white ginger, sheer jasmine, raspberry nectar, the mid notes are pumpkin latte, toasted vanilla, and fresh nutmeg, and the dry notes are creamy sandalwood, praline musk, and warm vanilla. Oh, did I just read the wrong one? Scratch that. I totally just read the one for marshmallow pumpkin latte. So, so this perfume, the top notes are frosted raspberries, holly berries, Kirk Royale Accord, and crystallized orange zest. And then the mid notes are pink Prosecco, Jasmine Wreath and Creme de Cognac and the dry notes are Red Velvet Vodka, Skin Musk, and Crystal Musk. I mean it's definitely a very like berry like Christmassy perfume. Um, it is a Christmas scent so I mean it's very fruity. Well, I'm definitely going to be doing a part two with the other ones because otherwise this video is going to be forever long. So if there's any perfumes that you think I might like based upon what I have or if there are anything else, just let me know and be looking out for a part two. So thank you guys for watching. Bye!